Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is uh, multiplying polynomial expressions. Sorry, I didn't catch this till right before I was um, uh, entering this right here. So this should say part one. Sorry, my uh, keyboard's not working all of a sudden. Let me stretch that out. Sorry about that. And I'm rushing in between lunches. Otherwise, I'd just redo this. So, so uh, multiplying polynomial expressions. This is part one. And so how do we multiply binomials and polynomials? And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at that groovy website. OK, so here we go. So let's multiply using the distributive property. OK, so here we're going to uh, distribute uh, the x plus 2 through this. We're going to distribute this whole quantity through the parentheses. So it's going to be times x and then times 5. Can you see that? Times x right there times 5. OK, and now we're going to take each one of these and distribute the x through the blue guy and distribute the 5 through the blue guy right there. OK, so I changed them to red right there. So there it is right there. So x times x, x times 2, that's what this says right here, and then 5 times x and 5 times 2, that's what this says. All right, so x times x is x squared, and then we have plus 2x plus 5x plus 10, and then we'll combine these like terms, 2x plus 5x is 7x, there's our answer. Okay, easy, right? Let's do that again. So we're going to uh, uh, distribute this x plus 3 through the parentheses over there, okay? So here it is, so x plus 3 times the first one, and then x plus 3 times the second one. That's what this says right here. Now we'll take this 2x and change it to red and distribute it through, and same with the 4, okay? And we get there. So 2x times x is going to give us 2x squared, 2x times 3, and then here it's 4 times x and 4 times 3 right there. So clean that up and then combine those like terms and we get that. Okay, easy, right? All right, one more of these and then we'll do what's called foiling. So here we go and then... Uh, the only reason I wanted to uh, do a negative right here, this minus 2 right here, okay? So x times x and then x times minus 2 right there, okay? So here it is, x times x and then x times the negative 2 right there. And so so there's a, like a plus out in front of here. So that's why it's plus x right there. And this minus 2 is this minus 2. Similarly, this plus 1 is going to be plus 1 times x and plus 1 times the minus 2. Okay, so here's x squared, a positive times a negative is going to give us a negative 2x and we're going to have plus 1x and this is going to be a minus 2 right there, okay? Then we'll combine these like terms right here. Minus 2x plus 1x is um, uh, minus 1x right there or just minus x, okay? All right, so another way to multiply a binomial times a binomial is to use the FOIL method, and it stands for, F stands for the first term, the O stands for the outer terms, the I stands for the inner terms, and the L stands for the last terms, okay? So here we go. we got a binomial times a binomial. So here's the first term, here's the first term. So let's do F, okay? So there's first times first, okay? And then we'll do the the outer so this outer times this outer right here the outer bookends right here so the x squared times two so there's o right there okay outer times outer and then we'll now we'll do inner times inner so the inside one and the inside one is going to be three times x right there and then finally last times last three the last one in this binomial times the last one in this binomial three times two okay and then so here we have x squared times times x is x cubed. This will be plus 2x squared plus 3x plus 6. And none of those are like terms, so that's our answer right there. We can't combine like terms. Let's try it with this one, okay? So first times first. There's 3x squared times x. Outer times outer. So it's going to be plus the 3x times 5 right there. Okay, careful of the inner times inner. It's going to be plus, the inner on this one is negative 2x. Okay, so the inner is going to be negative 2x times x. And then finally, last times last, negative 2x times 5. So it's always plus in between each one. So plus, this is going to be a plus right here. And then last times last is that negative 2x times 5. All right, so this is going to be 3x to the third plus 15x squared, careful, negative times a positive, this is going to be a negative, and then negative 2x squared, minus 10x right there, okay? And that's not the answer, because we can combine these like terms right there. So 15x squared minus 2x squared is going to be a 13x squared right there. There's our final answer. All right, let's try it again. First times first, outer times outer, inner times inner, 
last times last, okay? And then clean that up, and then there was no like term, so that was our answer right there. All right, let's, uh, we're going to stretch uh, a little bit and do tomorrow's lesson, part two. I didn't catch it till I was all done building this lesson, so you guys get a little um, a peak view at tomorrow's lesson. So what we're going to do is distribute this trinomial times each piece of the binomial times the x and the 2. So that trinomial times x and the trinomial times 2. And then here, we're going to now we're going to go x times this times this times this. And over here, it's going to be 2 times this times this times this, okay? So there that is, right there. The red x goes through and the red plus 2 goes through, okay? So it's plus 2. It's not just 2. It's plus 2. So there's my plus 2, my plus 2, my plus 2. Okay, times that, times that, times that. Here it's plus x, plus x, plus x. That's what this is right here. All right, so x times x squared is x cubed, and then a positive times a negative. This is going to be a minus uh, 5x squared. This is going to be a positive 4x. This will be a plus 2x squared. This is going to be a negative 10x and then a plus 8 right there, okay? And then we'll combine those like terms right there. The x squareds give us a negative 3x squared. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. And the x's, 4 minus 10 is negative 6x. And then there's nothing to go with this green 8 or this guy right here, the x cubed. So that's our answer right there, our colorful answer. Let's try it again, okay? We're going to multiply this trinomial times this and then the trinomial times negative 4, okay? All right, so there that is right there. Now we're going to put the 3x through times that times that times that. We're going to put on this one the negative 4 through times that times that times that. So there it is right there, okay? So here we have a, a positive times a negative is a negative and it's going to be x to the third. Here's a positive times a positive. It's going to be a positive 15x squared. This will be a negative 18x. Careful, this is a negative times a negative, so it's going to be a plus 8x squared. This is going to be a minus 20x, and then finally a plus 24 right there. All right, let's group all the like terms right there. So the blue guy, so we have plus 15 plus 8 is going to be plus 23. Minus 18 minus 20 is going to be a minus 38x, and so there's our answer right there. Okay, let's try one application problem. Trent is building a rectangular garden with length x plus 4 feet and width x plus 1 feet. Find a polynomial function that shows the area. So we're going to multiply those, then find the area. Okay, area of a rectangle is length times width. That's a time symbol. That's not an x. Length times width, okay? So we're going to multiply, foil this out, x plus 4 times x plus 1. So there it is, all foiled out right there. Here's first times first, outer times outer, so this one times this one, then inner times inner is 4x right there, and then finally last times last, and so 1x plus 4x is 5x, okay? So that's uh, this uh, answer right here, find the polynomial function, okay? Now we're going to plug in uh, 4, okay? And, and area is always in square units, so when we, when we plug in 4, here's 16, here's 20, so 16 plus 20 plus 4 is going to give us 40 right there, and so it's going to be 40 uh, feet squared right there. All right, if you are in our class, that would be your assignment for today. Take care.